I'm freaking. But I am gonna, you guys are gonna see how I do my hair for this New Year's Eve look. It looks like this. Um, well, I'll put a picture over here if I have like with that hairstyle. But I'm gonna do a little ponytail for the bubble. Um, you guys will see. But I'm using the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Gel. And then I'm using the Curl Care um, Defining Cream. And then I use this one, which is called Gotten Ultra Glue. It's for, um, so when I, I want a slick ponytail, I just use this. It's like a really sticky, like, gel that makes your hair look really sleek. So that's what I'm going to do. And you guys are going to watch me while I'm doing it. see i already did the hairstyle that i'm gonna do for this look obviously i'm not i don't have the dress yet that i'm gonna wear but i do want to show you guys at least how it would look with the earrings i'm gonna wear and how it's just to complement my um my face so first thing i always do i always outline my brow shape with concealer i don't use dip brow or i don't use any pomade or I mean not I don't use dip brow pomade or um what's the other stuff like brow gel or any of that I just like kind of brush them upwards but I don't use anything fancy to fill them in because I already like how my brow is already full naturally so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the concealer um so the concealer I always use of even though I'm almost done with it is the infallible 24 hour full wear you guys already know because I already talk about this in my videos. And I don't want to talk about my makeup. I want to talk about 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 stuff for y'all. Like like a little vent session, you know. Because honestly, this whole year has been... It's been something. I'm going to tell you that. It has not been a fun year for me. Personally, it hasn't been my best year. And... I really hope next year is better, but I'm not expecting, I'm not going to like put an expectation and expect it to be good. I just want to actually do something about it and make sure that I make next year a better year. Because I feel like this year I kind of just like didn't really try. Okay guys, I'm going to get up close and personal so you guys can see. I have my mirror here in my other hand so you guys can see when I'm applying my concealer. Um, don't make fun of me on how I apply my dip brow or how I do my makeup because I am not an expert so... I'm not an MUA, I'm none of that fancy stuff. I'm just showing you guys how I personally personally do my makeup, so and how I like to do it. So anyways, but I I don't think I'm gonna outline the top for this makeup look. So I what I do 
this is the concealer the 145 concealer blender i don't know if you guys can see it by zoeba um i got this one on tj maxx for like 4.99 um i was trying it out i don't really i never heard of this brand but i like how it applies my concealer but another good one it's called well it's the morphe m175 it looks like this and this one does a good job too if you want like a better application anyways i forgot to put my primer on so this is what i use i use the elf poreless putty primer okay so now that i um blended my concealer i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty pro filter in the shade i believe is um 295 it's like a neutral um neutral tone it's not like a yellow undertone or pink undertone it's just like a neutral so i'm just gonna apply this on my face and on my neck because i wanted to match my neck and then on my top um this is a really good foundation if you want something that doesn't look cakey and gives more like of a soft like like a soft um i don't even know how to say it but if you want a foundation that just makes you look really good really matte I definitely recommend this one i got so many compliments when i wore it to work they were like oh my god your foundation looks really good what did you do like did you do i was like this is the foundation so what i do i use the expert face brush next to buff out the foundation all over my skin and then i will use a beauty blender to like um give me a, like a more clean look because i can't really brush your foundation i just dab so that's what i'm doing anyways girls like i said um something i definitely want to improve is my time on social media i feel like i waste so much time there that it's not good for me like i have so many things to do that i procrastinate being on social media so something that i'm doing is like timing myself reading more books because that's something i do want to do because i feel like um i want to invest my time on better things than just social media even though social media is like not necessarily bad i like if you have like a business or like if you're using it as a tool like you can do a lot of things with it but in my case i'm not doing that and i feel like i just compare myself all the time because i feel like i'm never doing enough like i feel like people my age are getting so much done and i feel like i don't get anywhere like and i always get told like well it's you know it'll happen in your own timing but for me it's like I get really um anxious because I want to I'm like in a rush like I just want to do better and progress and all this stuff like I'm hard on myself I know it's like TMI but like I tend to be really hard on myself with my like like things that I want to do with my life and it's like hitting me like even though I'm like 23 I'm like constantly worrying about what if i'm not successful what if i'm not enough like that's another reason why i'm like timing myself on social media and i did delete a couple of social medias because i felt like i was just constantly comparing myself to all like the people on social media like in i don't even know like sometimes i feel so like like i'm missing out on something which i'm like why do i feel like that but it's like it's a constant battle with like wanting to improve even more and wanting to get my life together 
because I see other people have their life together. So I'm like, I don't know. Um, I just put myself down at times and I just don't like that I do that. That's where I say that social media for me becomes a little toxic. And this year I'm just like, no girl, you need to get it together. You need to focus on your goals and do what's best for you. But comment down below if you guys feel that like that. And okay, so I'm going to apply my concealer and then I'll be right back. to be better and you know full of opportunities and meet new people and just grow mentally physically and spiritually <laughs> shade 980 by la girl and i'm gonna do my contouring points okay so i'm back and i'm just gonna use my um physician's formula butter bronzer on the in the shade 667 light bronzer i am going to get my contour brush my contour brush i don't even know why i'm saying it like that <music> which is doing my eye makeup so i'm gonna go in we're gonna today we're gonna use the 9m midnight dune morphe palette um these colors really give me like new year vibes so <laughs> um you guys already saw in my video for uh what is it my black friday haul if you haven't gone if you haven't gone to see it i'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out but I'm taking the tape off, but this is how it looks. Look, you guys can see my tripod <laughs> when I'm recording. Um, but we're going to go in with this light brown here first. And we're going to kind of do like a cut crease, like a little like cut crease. And then we'll go in with this dark brown. And you guys will see, I'm going to put the picture over here. So you guys can see what I'm, what makeup look I'm going for. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Morphe M45. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, And I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow right here. It's like this one right here. And um, I'm just going to go in and put that as the base. And then from there we're going to go gradually. I like to tap off the excess. Every time I tap on my eyeshadow, I like to tap it off. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna get up close and personal. Okay, so I'm gonna just um apply this and just difuminarlo. And we're just gonna apply it on the crease line. And then I'll just blend it out because that's what I wanna do.
over here hyping it up. You guys can't even see the highlighter. But I personally like it. And I'll show you guys up close. And then I just pat a little bit. I, I pat a little bit of highlighter because I like it to look like glitter more than like highlight. So. So, let me take my tripod off. This is the makeup look. You guys can see the glitter, just having a little bit of a highlight moment. Because I feel like the eye look in general, it already is a lot. But I, I'm going to show you guys how it looks with my earrings put on that I'm going to wear that day. Excuse my little hairs, but this is the final makeup look. Que opinan? What do you think? I love it. So, I went with the, like a cut crease with the red, uh, with the red. Why am I saying with the red? With a black liner and, um, I did, um, tan and then brown and then like a black eyeshadow and then we went with the nude lip because i feel like since the eye look is already dramatic in the earrings i feel like this is such a pretty new year's eve look and if you don't have any other like any ideas definitely recommend doing this because it looks so cute i did it with the tight ponytail because with the dress and then you know with my purse and i feel like it like looks good and the dress already is gonna have like a lot of gems like black gems so i feel like it would look so and then for the smoky eye the cut crease i used the 9m morphe palette and i used the what's the other one? Oh yeah and i used the fenty um highlighter um it's called how many carats i think it's called this one how many carats She's doing that. Oh, I'll be back. So I was just doing my thumbnail, but you guys, I look so pretty and I'm gonna take it off. I don't wanna take it off because I look so good. Guys, look at the highlight. Let's take a moment to look at this highlight. And it's okay, I just put a little bit just so like it's like a soft highlight because I feel like my eye makeup is already dramatic. But girl, if you want to put the whole thing on, go for it. Pero me encanta con un vestido bien. Mira. Me encanta como me veo. Like my players, me da la pena que me tengo que quitar este maquillaje porque se me ve bien chulo but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and don't i said don't forget to comment like subscribe and turn the notifications for every time i put a new youtube video also um i hope you guys like this um new year's eve makeup look guys have a happy new year and many more blessings and opportunities for y'all because this year for me it was not the vibe so i'm not saying next year is gonna you know but let's hope it's better and yeah but if you guys have questions over the makeup look um how i did it 
don't forget to comment like subscribe and turn your notification button to see when i upload videos ciao